Hi students, this is Ms. Ty here. In this video, we are going to talk about the new reference sheet for the Algebra 1 Regents. You heard that right. The Algebra 1 Regents is changing as of June 2024. It's going to be based on something called the Next Generation Learning Standards. This has actually been an initiative that's been underway for several years now, but for the first time in 2024, there will be a new exam that's aligned to the next generation learning standards. So in this video, I just wanted to quickly review what's going to be on the updated reference sheet. The reference sheet will be different. What you have right here on the screen is the new reference sheet that you're going to use on the new Algebra 1 regions as of June 2024. So let's kind of take some time to see what's going on and how you're going to be able to navigate this reference sheet so that you can be successful on your exam. Let's look at the top. So it starts off with some conversions. So we have one mile equals 5280 feet, one mile equals 1760 yards, one pound equals 16 ounces, one ton equals 2000 pounds. For the old regions, the one that's currently in place right now, they were really only you know, maybe two to three questions that were based on conversions. So I didn't really see students having to use this section too often. Um, here at the top right, you have conversions across measurement systems. So one inch equals 2.54 centimeters. One meter equals 39.37 inches. One mile is 1.609 kilometers. One kilometer is 0 0.6214 miles. One pound is 0 0.454 kilograms. And one kilogram is 2.2 pounds. So that is what is provided to you from a conversion standpoint. I'm curious to see if they will incorporate a larger number of conversion type problems as more information becomes available. I'm happy to share here on our channel. So just kind of look out for that. So let's take a look at the actual formulas that's going to be on the new reference sheet. So it's written down below here. We have the quadratic equation that is new. We have y equals ax squared plus bx plus c. Let's take a quick look at the old reference sheet just so we can compare. Uh, so there was no quadratic equation on the old reference sheet. We also have the quadratic formula. So that's going to be on the new reference sheet. It was also on the old reference sheet right over here. The new reference sheet is going to provide the equation of the axis of symmetry. That information was also not included on the old reference sheet. We also have the slope formula that's included, m equals y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. There was no slope formula on the old reference sheet. We also have the linear equation slope intercept form, y equals mx plus b. That was not on the old reference sheet. So these are some of the more basic formulas that they are providing to you guys. So that's really good. There's also the linear equation in point slope form, y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. That was also not on the old reference sheet. The old reference sheet also had all of the geometry formulas because there was one reference sheet used for both exams. Now they're likely going to divide the reference sheet so that each test has its own reference sheet. On the right-hand side, there's the exponential equation, y equals a times b to the x, the compound interest formula, the arithmetic sequence formula, the geometric sequence formula, that one looks a little bit more familiar. We have the arithmetic sequence and geometric sequence right over here. So that was actually on the old reference sheet. There's also the interquartile range and then how to calculate outliers. So we use this information typically for the box and whisker plot. Uh, and when we're analyzing uh, data sets to kind of figure out if there are any points that are kind of very far off. Notice these formulas were not included on the old reference sheet. So on the top, notice there were conversions before and there will continue to be conversions on the new reference sheet. So let's go over some similarities and differences that I noticed between the old Algebra 1 reference sheet and the new Algebra 1 reference sheet. One thing I noticed is that both reference sheets have conversions listed at the top. Uh, so that's gonna be an important component to take a note of. Also, both reference sheets have the quadratic formula listed. I also noticed that both reference sheets have formulas for arithmetic and geometric sequences. 
And finally, um, the exponential function formula is also listed on both reference sheets. But here are some differences to keep in mind as you prepare for the June 2024 regions, which is when the new reference sheet is going to take effect. There are far fewer conversions on the newer reference sheet. There were 17 on the old version and only 10 on the new version. All geometry formulas are removed from the Algebra 1 reference sheet. It looks like they're going to be separating all reference sheets so that each exam has its own, which makes way more sense to me. The simplified form of the exponential function is listed. That's the one where we have y equals a times b to the x. That is way more simple for students uh, to understand. So I really love that they made that adjustment. This is an example of a word problem where you will apply the exponential function. Notice there's an initial value, which is 600. There's a constant rate of growth because in this problem, Emily is investing money in an account and it's earning 2.4%. So that's going to be your constant rate of growth. And then there's a time factor. The time factor is four years. So that's when this type of equation, y equals a times b to the x, is going to be extremely important. Um, here's a quick solution. So we know that four is our time factor. This is consistent across all four answer choices. We also know that 600 is our principal or initial value. This number is also consistent across all four answer choices. We should also pay attention to what's happening in the problem. She is investing this money. Anytime you invest money and you are earning interest on an annual basis, that means your money should be going up, which means we're looking for an addition operation. So automatically we can go ahead and eliminate answer choice four and answer choice two because there is a subtraction operation. For answer choice one and three, the only difference is how the actual interest rate is showing up. Remember, our goal is to convert the percent into a decimal. We're going to move the decimal point two places to the left. That's one and then two. We typically have to divide by 100 when converting a percent into a decimal. So the decimal equivalent would be 0 0.0 to four. So the correct answer is choice three. And then there's also formulas for the box and whisker plot. They're also included on the new reference sheet. So things like how to calculate the interquartile range or how to calculate whether or not a number is an outlier. Those formulas can be sometimes tricky to remember. So I love that these are included on the updated reference sheet. And finally, there's so many formulas for the linear and quadratic function. So basically, what is the standard equation of a quadratic? Y equals AX squared plus BX plus C. What is the standard equation of a line? Y equals MX plus B. What is the equation of a line in point slope form? Y minus Y1 equals M times X minus X1. These are all things that are being provided for you on the new reference sheet. So my hunch is these supports will help you to do really well. Um, and so I'm really excited to see what the new exam is going to look like. If you learned something in this video, please go ahead and like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Toodles.